Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. In this tutorial, you're going to learn about for, while and do while loops. If you want to write out some number five times to the screen, you would probably do something like this based on what you already know from my previous tutorials. You would do console.writeLine 0 and then again console.writeLine 1. And if you wanted to write out something to the screen five times, you would do this three more times. But that is really time consuming. So that's why there are loops in programming. Let's start with a for loop. I'm gonna write out for loop and then I'm going to go through in detail what each of the things inside the loop actually does. So for, two parentheses, and int i equals zero, i is less than five, and i plus plus. You have to separate these things with a semicolon and then two curly braces. And as you already know, two curly braces group code together. And inside these curly braces, we are gonna write console.writeLine i. So what does this actually do? We are creating a count variable, an iterator variable of type integer, calling it i, and we are setting it to be equal to zero from the start. Then, when we want to iterate through the for loop, we are checking if i is less than five. And obviously, if i is zero when it starts, it is less than five. So this is going to execute. But first up, let's test it so we can see the result. You will see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 printed out to the screen. So yeah, because 0 is less than 5, so it goes and writes it out. Now what happens is that after this write line method on the console class executes, we are coming to an end of a for loop. The execution comes to this part of the for loop. I guess you could call it declaration of a for loop or something along those lines. So this thing increments the variable i. And what incrementing does is that it adds one to the integer. This doesn't need to be an incrementation. You could write i equals i plus one or more tersely, you could write i plus equals one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be an incrementing or decrementing that's written here. And when it increments the variable i, it again checks if i is less than five. And then if it is, it goes and writes to the screen the number i. However, if i is equal to four, when writing out to the screen. Then it goes to increment i by one, and then it checks if i is less than zero. And by that time, i is equal to five, because four plus one is equal to five. And therefore, this Boolean expression evaluates to false. And what this does is that it stops the execution of the for loop and this line, the console.read line, is executed. Then there are also while loops. And while loops can be used like a low level for loop. So if I wanted to replicate this for loop using a while loop, I would do something like this. Int j equals zero. And now while j is less than five, and if it is less than five, we want to write out console dot write line j and then increment j. So j plus plus. And what this does is actually the exact same thing as the for loop before, except that the name of this iterator variable is changed to j, but that doesn't really matter. So j is set to zero, then we are checking if j is less than five. And after all the code inside this while loop executes, the last line of the code is to increment the variable j. So it actually does the same thing as the for loop. 
but you should never use it like this because it doesn't make sense. While loops are built for something else, because for loops are less hassle to write and when something is less hassle to write, it's better. So as you can see, the result is the same. Normally, we use while loops when we want to repeatedly do something in a loop until some condition changes to false. So let's create a string while string and it's going to be equal to cakes and while while string dot length is greater than one. And all that this does is checking if the string contains more than one character. And if it does contain more than one character, we want to remove the last character from the string. And we can do this by typing while string equals while string dot remove while string dot length minus one. What this does is that it removes the last character, which is located at an index one less than the length of the string. And I know that you probably don't understand what I've just said, but in the next tutorial, we are going to be talking about arrays and string is basically an array of characters. So it's going to make more sense to you. And then we want to write out the while string. So we are going to write console dot write line and result and concatenate the while string. So now when we run this, it's going to print out cakes and then cake, then cac, then ca and then only c and it's going to stop because by then the string while string is going to contain only one character, which is not more than one character, obviously. So when we start, it actually doesn't even write out cakes because it first removes the last character from the string and only then prints it out. Now let's introduce do while loops and do while loops work just like regular while loops with one exception. The code inside the curly braces runs before checking the condition, which means do while loop runs at least once as opposed to while loop which can happen to not run at all. So we are going to create a string do while string and it's going to be equal also to cakes and then do to curly braces. And inside we actually want to put the exact same thing as in the while loop, but we are going to change the while string to be do while string. And then after this second curly brace, we want to write while and condition, which is going to be do while string dot length is greater than one. So as you can see, this basically resembles the while loop. The only difference is that it's going to run at least once, no matter what. And when we run this, you will see that actually while loop and do while loop are doing exactly the same thing. However, when I change the while string to be just C and also the do while string will be also just C, there's going to be some difference between do while and while loops. So when we start now, it's going to print result and the result is basically nothing. Now, which one of these two loops wrote this result to the screen? Well, it was this do while loop because when while string is just one character long, this while string dot length is greater than one is going to return false. It's not going to be true because one character is not more than one character is exactly one character. So therefore this while loop doesn't execute even once. And I can prove that by deleting this while loop. And now when we run this, it's going to print out result. So now we know that this do while loop is actually printing out the empty result. And why is it doing that? Well, do while string is just one character long, but the do while loop checks if the do while string is longer than one after the first execution of the loop, because do while loops first do things and only after that they check. So it's gonna remove the last character from the do while string, then it's gonna print it out to the console. 
and only then it's going to check if it's greater than one and obviously by then it's going to be zero the length is going to be zero characters because the last and only character was removed so it's going to stop the execution of the do while loop if we change this to cakes again what happens now is that it removes the last character so it's going to be only cake prints it out and it's four characters long so continues execution then it's cak ca and ca is also more than one character so it continues the execution however when do while string is equal to ca because these three characters were removed and the last character from ca is removed the do while string is gonna be only equal to c and c is gonna be printed out to the console and then the do while loop will find out that the do while string which now is equal to c is not longer than one character and it's gonna stop the execution so let's demonstrate again as you can see no empty result is written now as opposed to when the do while string is just one character long then even the empty result is printed out so that's the huge difference between do while and while loops i advise you to go to the link in the video description which will take you to an exercise on resocoder.com where you will have a few questions and coding assignments you have to practice in order to learn I hope that this tutorial helped you. If it did, give this video a like and also don't forget to share it. If you don't want to miss any new tutorials, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell button, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.